Hello, uh, friends. This is a, a introduction about the skill enhancement course, uh, which will be offered under the part three of our curriculum. In this uh, skill enhancement course, Department of Microbiology, Faculty of Science, is going to offer a industrial quality management system, which is a course which is specifically designed for those students who are planning to work in an industry and they have to opt uh, to learn various techniques related to microbiology, related to instrumentation and they want wish to uh, work in the field of food, agri, dairy and pharmaceutical sector as well as in the environment sector. The course is coordinated by Dr. Rohan Pandya and Dr. Abhijit Joshi from the Department of Microbiology. If we see the course objective, the course is uh, having the target to student uh, who wish to learn the documentation and record keeping which is very essential part in the uh, quality management of any industrial process as well as in the R&D institution. Specifically in this course uh, we are planning to teach uh, the techniques which is required to perform microbiological quality management as well as we will also focus on uh, several documentation part of uh, logs as well as records that are required to maintain in the microbiological laboratory for quality management purpose. In this course students will be trained to uh, fill uh, various forms and records as well as uh, they also uh, uh, get acquainted with the quality standards used in the various testing laboratories in specific regards to the microbiological aspects. In general, the course is specific for those students who wish to develop their knowledge and skills in regulatory affairs specifically uh, related to microbiological quality analysis, quality assurance as well as microbiological R&D in the food, dairy, agriculture, pharmaceutical and environmental sectors. In this course, uh, the curriculum is designed in such a way that you will get familiarized with the regulatory affairs, various standards used in the uh, particular industry as well as required documentation to maintain such standards. The course is in line with uh, various SDGs that are Sustainable Development Goals. Specifically, this particular course is catering the need of SDG 8 which is decent work and environment sorry decent work and economical growth SDG 9 uh, which is targeting the industry innovation and infrastructure and SDG 12 which is focused on responsible, responsible consumption and production of goods this particular course is uh, designed uh, mainly in a uh, four different target areas. Uh, first part is the introduction of the total quality management. As I mentioned, it is specifically focused on microbiological uh, parameters for total quality management as well as it also focuses on introductory part of the standards and regulatory framework required for microbiological analysis. The particular course also defines and describes the preliminary requirement of total quality management in various sectors and this particular course is having the almost 50% weightage of the various practical skills that will be teach in terms of assignment as well as in terms of terms of a practical as well as in terms of a various exercise. Uh, in a broad nutshell the syllabus is uh, distributed in five theory modules. The module one is uh, introduction of standards and regulatory frameworks specifically used in microbiological sectors. Uh, module 2 will be focused on quality management in pharmaceutical sectors specifically for pharmaceutical environment, pharmaceutical microbiological need, pharmaceutical microbiological load calculation etc. The module 3 will be focused on quality management uh, you required essentially in food and dairy sector. Uh, as I mentioned, the all modules are having the emphasis on the microbiological parameters for quality control and quality analysis, uh, assessment. As well as some of the parameters are also intended to focus on various R&D activity. 
Module 4 will be again uh, targeting the environmental sector for microbiological analysis and module 5 will be based on the quality management in the agriculture sector uh, in special uh, emphasis to the microbiological science. The last part of the syllabi is a uh, experiment and exercise which is also having the almost 50-50% uh, percent, uh, teaching our distribution or instruction our distribution for theory as well as exercise. In a practical curriculum, the curriculum will be focused on the preparation of the forms and various standard operating procedures for microbiology analysis, uh, microbiological load calculation, microbiological control, as well as it also focuses on calibration and validation of the some of the key instruments used in the microbiological laboratory such as autoclave, incubators, BOD incubators, ovens, etc. In this regard, we will also see the preparation of the various standards and solutions used in the microbiological laboratory for quality control and quality assurance and we will see various quality checkpoints used in the food, agriculture and pharmaceutical products. Apart from this, uh, the exercise will be also uh, having emphasis on uh, various documents and logs preparations uh, used in these sectors uh, as I mentioned in specific regard to the analysis parameters related to microbiology as well as their preparation. So broad outline, uh, the assessment of this particular course is distributed in five components. The first component is uh, uh, attendance regular attendance is required and if a student is having the regular regular attendance uh, he or she might be getting the 10 marks for their punctuality the second component in this particular course is assignment the course is also focused with uh, 10 marks of assignment that will be given during the course either in a semester one or two the practical skill assessment is distributed in uh, two uh, semesters that is semester three and semester four for regular students the assessment will be performed for two hours and it has total weightage of 20 for in each semester and uh, total uh, grand total weightage of 40 marks uh, for both the semester the course is also having a one mid semester exam which will be based on the two modules any of the two modules which will be taught during the first semester it has a total weightage of 20 marks and the exam will be having the one hour duration. The second exam will be of five modules that includes the whole curriculum. It is also of one hour targeting the 20 marks and the total marks distribution is of 100 marks for this particular course. At the end of this particular course, students will get ranks or rem uh, remarks based on their total score and it will be reflected in their final mark sheet as a credit. The brief introduction about the course uh, offered by the microbiology department. I wish you all welcome for this particular course. Thank you. Thank you all.